Peace, peace, peace. Welcome back, brothers and sisters. Back in time with yet another pristine, fine, and genuine new video. You know who this is? You know what time it is. <laughs> Brother Henry and Hank Soul Conscious, number 4,44400. Welcome back to the channel of channels. Welcome back to the network. Uh, for those of you who are newer subscribers or visitors or viewers, uh, I know most of you have just subscribed recently within the last few weeks or month or two. Uh, and those of you that have been around for a little while, but who may not have been able to check in lately. Uh, most recently, this past week, we now are a, a three instead of a two channel network. The good news, we have an additional cousin station in addition to our secondary uh, big brother or big sister station. We have a big cousin station, uh, Bright or Intel from Black Race F Space Forums. Um, you know, I mentioned it verbally in the future. I'm going to try to add it to the links of the discussion about page. In addition, you know, our, 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 um, we also have, a uh, bright or black and Latino all, and all of a positive people safety zone. Uh, please, uh, subscribe. You can go to the other related channels, the about a discussion page. Um, in the near future, I'm going to be adding our offer third channel. So now our network has grown from our main base channel, our original channel of Ibmore one man army against racism channel for the positive ones or formerly nicknamed the channel for all people, which it still is for all the positive people, especially the melanated family, my black, Latino, Asian, as well as good hearted, uh, non-white and white brothers and sisters in spirit. Even you may not be a brother or sister necessarily by your genetic or ancestry, but by your positive mind and spirit. And so I welcome all to this channel. Consider this your mini home away from home. Make a note of it. I'm always a comment or email away. I'm in the process of saving up the equipment to do future live streams. Uh, so be patient uh, by later this fall or sooner. I'm going to start a live stream on the original channel. And then from there, I'll be doing live streams on each channel from time to time. Um, you can also email me with any comments, suggestions, positive, constructive or positive criticisms. Uh, my four main emails are lowercase gGnewtime at hotmail.com, lowercase Henry the hard worker at gmail.com, lowercase Henry or Hank alpha mail 4400 at, at gmail.com. And on my new email, which is used for the third new channel, as well as for all of our contacts, is uh, bright, bright or intel, I-N-T-E-L, from Black Race Space, and then the word forms with a capital F. But if you have trouble pulling it up, let me know. I can email you the link or URL. Like I said, in the near future, I'll be putting it in the description box. So anyway... Um, thank you for bearing with me now that I've gotten that out of the way. If you need to, you could jot it down or rewind it. Let's get into it. Let's roll up our sleeves. The main topic of the video today is obvious. <laughs> yeah, President Trump's uh, back in the news again, this time concerning uh, the female or the woman who called him out um, on Twitter, who works at CNN or wherever it is. Um, she recently made comments about her distaste for him. People are lashing out. People are saying she should lose her job. Forgive me. I don't recall her name offhand, but you know who it is. I think Emile or Emile or Michelle or Nell. I don't know how it's pronounced, but the uh, so-called woman, uh, so-called African-American or so-called black or whatever you want to call it, uh, non-white lady so-called minority, whatever term you prefer to use. And also, Dow Strawberry jumped and threw himself into the mix. What do you think about that? Let me know your comments, thoughts, perspectives. You can email them to me or put them in the comment section. I'm always here for you. I know you guys are used to me uh, doing a broad range of topics. I usually do more like um, 
how to uh, intend social topics in the future down the road. I may develop a fourth or fifth channel, like mainly a business networking or politics channel. But you guys know that I do a broad range of topics. I don't limit myself to being a one or top or two topic YouTuber, even though each of my channels may have a basic theme. But I don't limit myself to any one topic. I cover just about everything under the sun. And even though my additional channels may have certain themes, but I try to do a little bit of everything on each channel, even though certain topics may be brought up more often than others. I just figured I'd bring this up. It's been a little while since I had a chance to do a political video. I just figured, you know, I'd bring it up to get your thoughts. Um, I don't want to bias anyone. And my objective and humble perspective, um, I think that because of the way how Trump has run his administration chaotically or done things like a circus at times, he may have partly brought it on himself or deserved it a little bit. I don't know. But for no offense to you so-called Trump fans out there, but if you disagree, that's fine. As long as you do so in a mature, adult, respectful way, you can present your facts, statistics, whatever you like. But uh, anyway, um, it's interesting, this three-way thing. A lot of people are calling Dal Strawberry a sellout, a coon. You know, he has a right to his point of view, but I do admit, I do think that him and certain of his so-called black celebrities go overboard. Um, you know, even if they disagree, um, I mean, the level to which... Um, you know, he just goes along with whatever white people says without thinking or he all, you know, he always wants to criticize his own community, but never the, the white community for what they do. And I just think that's being very biased and unfair. You know, like I said, it's just like, um, you know, like I, like I said in past videos, not all in, well, not all individual white people are racist, but they all benefit from the race, from the system and white privilege, whether they realize it or not. I'm just using that as a general example. No offense to any of my viewers or subscribers. I know that uh, you have good, bad, and in between in every culture, race of people, but that still doesn't change the fact that racism, double standards, and stereotyping exist, and non-white people like ourselves, we have it harder than them um, when it comes to a lot of things, even still today in this day and age, um, even though, you know, I'm not saying that to offend anyone, I'm just being honest, there's statistics and facts to prove that, Um and it's, and it's not even just about slavery. It goes beyond that. There's a lot that's happened since then, too. But anyway, um, not to get off topic, I'm just saying. But let me know what you think, um, you know, about this whole situation, this whole mess. Uh, do you think that we should give her the benefit of the doubt, Trump, Dow, Strawberry, all three of them? Are you kind of like in the middle or somewhat neutral like me? The only thing I'm not neutral about is that um, I think that Dow Strawberry came down a little bit too hard. People asking that she should be fired. Just she has a right to voice her, her perspective, especially being a black person, whether she's a black male or female, in this case, a female, because we as so-called minorities, blacks, Latinos, Asians, and non-whites, there is a lot of double standards and crap that we put up with behind the scenes that a lot of whites don't have to deal with, but we do. And even though the way she went about it may have been wrong, she, to, in some people's eyes, she still has a right to voice her freedom of speech. But I think that instead of doing it at work, she could have done it off duty somewhere. But like I said, I'm not attacking the young lady. To be honest, I'm for the most part, I agree with her. I think that President Trump is partially biased. He may not be completely racist, but if you study his family history, he did have relatives who were members of white supremacist groups. So that right there should send a red flag to your head. Just study the history of his family. He's had family members who've been part of Illuminati's and all kind of stuff. And I'm not making this up. You could do your research, search on Wikipedia. You could search all for credible sources. But anyway, I don't want this video to be too long. I just wanted to present what, what's going on recently. 
Give me your thoughts, your, your complaints, your feedback, your perspective, your opinions. Thank you all very much. Remember positivity over negativity, peace and blessings, all the best in life. Remember, think right, love right, be right, live right, reflect right, do right. And uh, stay true to positive morals and values. Stay positive. Life is full of ups and downs, but don't let it def your circumstances defeat you or beat it down. This is your brother, Henry Hank Soul Conscious. Like, share, subscribe, click the bell button on all my channels to be notified of future videos. Like I said, if you need the links or you have trouble or you need the URLs, please email. I'll be glad to send it. Please support and subscribe to all my channels. There's a channel for just about everybody, even if it's not for you, it may be for someone else. And like I said, if you need the links, you can rewind. Uh, you could go in the coming future days and weeks to the About a Discussion page. You can also uh, email and I'll be glad to send them to you. Uh, anyway, make a note of it. Like I said, in the future, I'm going to be building an additional website so that you can keep in touch with me off site from YouTube. And I'm also going to um, have to redo a new Facebook page as well. Once those are done, I'll let you know. In the meantime, you can keep in touch with me. My Twitter is at Tumblr.com. It's in the About Discussion page and on Google+. Plus. Um, like I said, just in case I ever get, uh, for some reason, deleted or taken down from YouTube, don't despair. Follow me on Tumblr, my two Twitters on Google+. Plus. I will also be fixing my Facebook page that was disabled in the near future. Once I have a new one, I'll let you know. In addition, like I said, I'm going to be constructing a website so that you'll have additional means to contact me, send me suggestions and questions for future videos. I'll be happy to research it and do future mini or other videos, and I will keep you posted on future live streams. Once I get the equipment, I'll provide you with the emails as well as my text and voicemail lines if you need support or questions to call, check, listen in, or to join me on them. Peace and blessings, family. Remember, should we give them the benefit of the doubt or not? What do you think? <laughs> anyway, peace, peace, peace. <laughs>